On today's video, I share with you how I made this lovely daisy chandelier. Or shall I say mobile because it has no lights. So if you're interested, then please continue watching. So for today's project, we're going to be using the following items. As you see here, I have two floral craft rings. This is a smaller one. I'm not sure what size this is. Six inch. This one's a six inch one, so I'm assuming this one's like the 20 inch one. Then I have this pretty little white ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And two flowering daisy gardens that I also purchased at Hobby Lobby. These were 50% off, so I got two for the price of one. <laughs> And what are we going to do here, guys? We're going to be making, I guess I want to call it a daisy chandelier or maybe a daisy mobile, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. Alrighty, guys. So in my mind, this is a super easy project, but hopefully we'll see if it comes to fruition. Now, these garlands are six feet long. So what I did was I cut them in half. So they're at three feet long each piece. And you see that they come with a little like eye hook here. So what I did was I took um, these twisty ties, right? And this is what we'll be using to hang them onto our floral ring here. But what I want to do before we do that, hopefully this works out guys, is I've cut the ribbon you see the pretty crystallized ribbon um, I've cut it at three feet long and I want to make like a little knot here you see a little knot here so I can have then the effect of the chandelier um, that we're planning on doing I'd say chandelier daisy chandelier or daisy mobile we'll see how this turns out guys now I'm just doing a small little knot here, as you can see, but it's on the unfinished side, so then this will be hanging, okay? So what we wanna do is make sure that it's even on all four sides, okay? So little go on this side here, another little knot, and so on and so forth, okay? Like I said, I done it, I cut four strips, of three feet of the ribbon we're doing a little knot so right now we have the two and what we will be doing is meeting it up in the middle and then tying it maybe maybe not tying it with the smaller ring so let me do the other two and we'll be right back Alrighty, everyone so now i have the four sides of what will be our chandelier hook with the made out of the ribbon so now what we're going to do as you can see here then I have these four sections and that's where we're going to be tying our our daisy garland so we're going to take the little piece of the twisty tie stick it on here and then we're just gonna twist it on to our hoop here And you can also dab a little bit of hot glue if you want, just to make sure that it stays. And let me see if you can see this, guys. Hold on, I gotta try to raise this. <clears throat> right, so here it is. Here is the first section of the baby chandelier. Continue on with the other three sides and we'll be right back. You know me guys, I don't like to bore you. <laughs> Alrighty guys, here it is. Here I have the four sections of the chandelier. The baby chandelier. Um, I will add like right here another string. And I have some tiny little daisies that I will be going then onto this ribbon, the same ribbon here that we have here, so that we have a little extra effect of the 
daisies on the uh, chandelier. So let's get started with that. We'll be right back. So in order to give our little chandelier here a fuller fit effect, because in hindsight, I wish I would have purchased either a smaller ring or another pack of the another um, garland of the daisy floral here but we're gonna use our little um, ribbon here and I did purchase a pack of 200 scattered daisies from Amazon and I will link that down in the description box for you guys and what we will be doing is we will just be gluing them on in a little bit of sections here onto our um, our ribbon so let's start with the top because that way we know we have some right here and don't forget guys hot glue is hot make sure that you are using your little which is what i should be using right now right the little finger um protectors here and we're just going to start going down our little daisies here and not too close to one another it's just to give it a little extra effect of fullness onto our chandelier so I will continue here and we'll be right back alrighty everyone here I am going the last daisy onto our ribbon where I can put it where you guys can visualize it a little better just give me one and here we have it everyone our daisy chandelier the mobile look how pretty it came out it came out prettier than I expected now you can add fairy lights to this if you like we're just going to be using it as is for our Pretty as a Daisy birthday party. Also, in hindsight, as you can see, I decided not to add the smaller floral ribbon. I think that, I mean, not floral ribbon, the floral frame. Because I think it looks prettier with just the ribbon. And it will be hanging from the ceiling. So, what do you think, guys? What do you think? very pretty right at least prettier than I expected anywho once again I thank you for watching I thank you for tuning in if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing to my channel also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video and as always I ask you to please help my channel grow by commenting giving my video a thumbs up and sharing my videos with that being said once again i thank you for watching and blessings to you all